like puzzle pieces, like a game of Scrabble, but uh, coming together. We're assembling our bikes at uh, TA1 before the race has even started. Although, everyone's, everyone's so frantic, it feels like the race has definitely started. Hey, hey, steering's acting up, haven't started yet, but we're gonna get this sorted. <laughs> So we've done the maps here. This is, there's three maps for this leg. It doesn't look too complicated. I say that now, we're obviously not in the thick of it yet. There's gonna be some interesting sections on the dunes and, and navigating on the dunes is very difficult because obviously there's no landmarks. It's a massive beach trek that's gonna take forever. To get us back to Sunday's river where we have to swim across the river twice, it's gonna be nighttime when we're doing this. So we're gonna swim once here near the mouth on the narrow part. We're gonna have to find a CP on the edge of the dune Make way, continue through the dune, and then swim back in. Feeling good, very steamy out there earlier, lots of hills, but all good now. Crazy hot out there, which makes it a bit tricky. We had to drink some brack water out of some interesting places, but we fucked my foot. You could feel the lightning sucked out of you, and we got that uh, those reservoirs and water pumps, and we were just drinking the saline water, but yes, we needed it. Uh, yeah, we've smashed probably about four liters of water already. <laughs> Yes, it's been hot. Every CP, on it, on it, on it. Dagan's nerve has been spot on. So we're making bloody good time, eh? Yep, that's right. Ahead of schedule. Huh? So now we're looking forward to a little bit of beach trekking. And that's what we've been training for. We've yep. been training the beach treks. So this next bit's going to be easy peasy. Easy, Lemon easy. squeezy. Yeah. Six hours on that it's beach. It's all about done. positive attitude. <laughs> <laughs> That was an epic swim from an amazing day out. He's so stoked to be here ahead of schedule. Yes. That trick was tough and I think we're gonna need a little bit of foot care. Built a couple of hot spots on the feet, but nothing too severe. But uh, a good day out and glad to be back here after stage one. Swims were just so, so welcoming. Cool the body down, get the feet out the shoes. Refresh the body after it's magic and this last swim it was such a relief. Eh? So yeah, just lucky to be here, get the kit on, have a quick meal, sleep for two hours, and then uh, off maybe two and a half hours, we'll chat to the captain. We had the fucking worst start to our bike. My back tire's flat, bonded twice, doesn't want to come up. Now we're forced to change the fucking, put a tube in, which is a fucking serious ball egg. After the diabolical start we had, things definitely picked up. The team's been a bit tired in general, but very good. Sorted, sorted. Hello everybody going up the Zuberg uh, Pass, about uh, six k's to go. Bumpy, lumpy, rocky, loose, rocky and one. the climb doesn't end. Seven more days to go. Right, last climb before the top. Oh, Brad, the wheels came 
all spectacularly. We've got to be nimble tomorrow. Yeah, it's a big trip. Yeah, it's a glute, trek, abseil. Yeah. I think we need at least four hours sleep. Four hours sleep? I didn't even feel like I'd slept, you know. I wasn't sure if I was sleeping or awake. The terrain is so rugged and so hard. Dave uh, fell asleep a little bit on the bike, you know. <laughs> you almost crashed. I'm very tired. I need to go to bed very soon. I think spirits are high, we're in a good rest. It just started raining, I think we didn't expect it for most of the day. We were basically doing straight up to the mountain outside Sunset. We eventually found the road we were trying to find the biggest drive right now, it's just the cold. With that said, I'm looking forward to the episode. <laughs> he looks like little Bo Peep, look at him. Kenya is going to be super slippery now, so we don't want to rush it, we just want to take it easier and get through safely. Thankfully, there's a little path next to the river. Proper. And the showers and most of these are sitting over Eastern Cape. When it's clear, you know, you can take a compass bearing, you can look down, you can see a tree, and say, guys, that's where we're going, you know? When you've missed that in fog, can't do that. It, it triples the complexity of, of NAV. You have strong winds blowing in those areas. Basically, been inside the cloud. Interesting rain. Cold, nice cold. It's wet, it's cold, it's miserable. And uh, yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find some place a bit warmer as we start losing altitude because at the top of this mountain is just fucking hell. <sighs> Okay, we're going to be heading off now. So a little bit warmer, but I think the moment we hit that cold air we're going to park. Big time. But 
not broken. Are you guys are these dry now? Yes. Thank goodness. Yes. Yesterday was pictures. So. You must be on this Beautiful. side of this fence. This big one. This one, yeah, yeah, yeah. CP41, uniform, yeah, confirmed. Not there yet, but we nearly are. You have no idea what we experienced out there. It's the most extreme conditions I've ever yeah, felt in race. Yeah, they might. Well done, Captain. So we haven't had food, we ran out at 6 o'clock tonight and we had a packet of Future Life and a rusk and that was it. And we shared it amongst four of us. <laughs> <laughs> Hence the hangriness when we arrived. <laughs> I am feeling much better now that I've eaten. I cannot tell you how much better I'm feeling. We can hear the water gushing, it's been raining. We're excited and nervous at the same time, eh? I love the paddle, it's amazing. It's awesome. We to and we to So much climbing. Flapper. Flapper climbing. And here we are at the picnic on the banks of the Great Fish River. We have to go a few attempts over the bridge and then put in our bags on the other side. Epic mud! Oh! Okay, I'm going to go to the bridge and I'm going to pick up my team right there. It was uh, brutal, but how good it was to finally be on the Fish River. Another stage done, another leg done. Leg five. Awesome. The paddle was, was super tough, but Russell's been amazing. And that's what I'm saying. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Can you? The water was at the beginning at waist up. It's from two kilometers. It's fine.
the little creek that we fell into the mountains. How are you feeling, guys? We're living our lives in the third person. Lifestyle's bye for now. Morning is broken. lot of civilization we hammered it downhill and we're here having fish and chips or chicken and chips <laughs> yes it was hard and we were flipping pokes yeah. falling asleep on our bike crashing i mean we weren't even riding our bikes it was like someone else was riding our bikes but we were all over the show i fell going through a, a, a bridge crossing into into water we were five minutes into the ride wet sleeping bag wet bivy bag but hey awesome to be in Houston. <laughs> Just add water. Another beautiful crew road. No, oh, it's a gift of the miles. Russ, how are we feeling? Top of the world, eh? Last little stretch of the 224, big one. Russ has been here before and he's pulled through. He's so headstrong, we won't let this get him down. Yeah.
leg, it's leg 8, it's about 60 k's. Strategy is, stay alive. <laughs> it is damn hot out there and uh, time to buy very soon and go and explore those uh, mountainscapes by the Ants and then onward to Koja. But until then, 60 k's. See Helen's on a toe here. Are you alright, Helen? Shattered. It's all. But we're going to go into the night, try and pick up as many kilometers as possible at uh, checkpoint. But all good. You're coming back from the dead, hey? It's a bit touch and go uh, on the tummy. But certainly not nauseous, but just still being very, very, very conservative with the stomach. A little nervous to eat. Good sleep tonight. Minimum three hours. So yeah, I think the team's in a good space, but tired. feeling a bit shattered on this trek and we found Cedric, a knight in shining armor and he's invited into his home and he's got mattresses everywhere if you take a look around here this is, this is our palace for the night thank you Cedric little crack in the house with some people in there <laughs> you do the bobby, you do the bobby can you reach it? Master Diver! <laughs> Master Diver! We are here! Kilometer 
it's, it's a long way and, it, and it's tough on the feet. It's, it's rocks and it's loose and it's, so it, was, um, it wasn't like Listen, but we've all questioned things over time. Yeah, over yeah. eight days of hard yeah. struggle. We had amazing sleep last night at this cabin here. Beds, duvets, showers, warm. Oh, yes, we feel refreshed. So, yeah, I think uh, nine hours in home and dry and onto the beach and uh, look forward to the finish line. Good job, you put him on a real show. This guy, he's one of the supporters who sells at the transition or one of the areas. Cokes, chips. This has got his good. Eh? Flooding is possible, strong winds there leading to a difficulty in navigation at sea, so please do take caution. We are on our way to collecting the penultimate and then the final CP. Love to you all, we're on it. How are we doing today? 
we did it. We did it. Seekers, finders, movers, shakers. We're the rank outsiders, but we share in the simple power of being outside with everyone and achieving determination and grit. Yeah. What a night, uh, dead man walking, eh? We were, we were so stickered. I wasn't even walking my body. I didn't even know my right from my left. I, I wasn't even there. Uh, we were freezing, got the space blanket on. This is the rain was hitting us from every direction. After that, to the point, cloud nine. All the way to the finish line, baby. All the way. Oh my goodness, so many highs, so many lows. They say you live a, a, an entire lifetime in an expedition race, but it's not true. You probably live about three or four. Then, yeah, finish line is falling. It was a big blur, absolute huge blur. I only just sort of compass meant just off, just off the fire when the the sun came up, so, but super proud of the team, we had the most amazing experience and, and that's it, it's, it's, it's done, it's incredible, yeah.